Hi guys, I am back and today I have a Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale haul. I am excited, you're excited, we're all excited about the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started because I got, I didn't get a lot, but I got more than what I thought I was going to get. One, because I had a gift card, which I didn't think I was going to have. Someone gave me a Bath & Body Works gift card for Christmas and I was like, yes um but yeah so I got more than I thought because I had a gift card but also I feel like I was very picky and choosy with what I got I didn't just willy-nilly throw things in my bag and so for that reason I kind of let myself get everything that I had put in my bag if that makes sense so I'm gonna go ahead and get started let's start with this little bag and then we'll go on to the big bag so the first things that I got are all in the Coco Shea line. Um, my store had them 50% off, um, which is a really good deal um, for the Coco Shea line. It hardly ever goes on sale and I have fallen truly in love with it. So I'm gonna tell you what I got. The first thing I got is the Coco Shea Coconut. Um, this is the 24 hour moisture body lotion. And I got this because I have a body shop coconut shower cream that I want to use this summer um, and I was like looking for a good lotion that'll go with it um, and then I was like this is perfect when I sniffed it I was like this is perfect because it smells very much like that authentic creamy coconut scent that the um the body shop coconut coconut <laughs> coconut shower cream smells like so I picked this up and it was a really good deal it smells amazing and I love this formula of lotion because I had finished one of these guys this is the Coco Shea honey I almost just dropped that did you see me and then I caught it I'm impressed with myself anyways I had finished one of these Coco Shea honey body lotions and I raved about it um I loved the way it felt I loved the way it smelled it smells to me like the honey I washed the kid soap from Lush just really just really good mm such an authentic honey scent without being too sweet or too floral it has that like coco shea background which is amazing so i got two more of these because i am obsessed it goes well with so many different um lotions or different shower gels and things like that that i have and it smells amazing and the moisture on this is beyond the moisture on this is amazing it sinks right into the skin it makes your skin feel super super soft then i got it, I keep showing it backwards at first. I'm not sure why. The Coco Shea Moisturizing Body Wash, the Honey Moisturizing Body Wash. Since I love the way that the lotion smells so much, I got it in the body wash purely for the scent. Um, I have enough body washes I don't need anymore, especially after you see the other ones I got. But it just smells so good. Like almost a soapy honey scent. It's amazing. I love it. I had to do a candle exchange. I exchanged a mint chocolate candle for this candle because I started burning the mint chocolate and it gave it zero scent throw, like zero, which is upsetting because I love the way that candle smells. Cold sniff, it smells amazing, but it had no scent throw. So I exchanged it for the Land of Sweets Blueberry Sugar. I have the Wallflower Flower currently of this plugged in and it smells so good. And of course the Wallflower is sold out. So I got it in the candle. I'm excited. I'm probably not going to burn this this year, but definitely next year. It smells like a blueberry, very candy-like, like a blueberry Jolly Rancher, a blueberry candy cane, something like that. So this is Sweet Blueberries Brown Sugar and Graham Cracker Crust. I smell no Graham Cracker Crust. And I smell sugar, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's brown sugar. Either way, I really like the way this candle smells and I hope it performs better so that it does have a decent scent throw. Okay, so let me talk about hand soaps. I got three. I was very picky again with the hand soaps that I got because I have a quite a bit more in my collection, but there were like a few holes that I needed to fill, if that makes sense. So I have a lot of like spring hand soaps. I have a lot of floral ones. Um, I have good transition hand soaps but I didn't have any winter ones left and I wanted a really fruity summer one so for next winter I bought coconut mint drop 
I love the way coconut mint drop smells. I have it in the body care, which I actually have not used yet. And that is the body care I plan on using next winter. So I'll have the hand soap and the body care to match. This says white coconut ice peppermint in winter musk. Why is it like this? There we go. Then I got iced cinnamon roll for next winter. I like having a really nice like gourmand scent every winter as well. This scent I didn't think I would actually like. Um, but I sniffed it and I loved it. So that's interesting. This was the last one my store had, the one that I like did my big haul at, um, but I did go to a different store just to check it out, see if there's anything different and they had a lot more of these. So I guess it just depends how much your store has. So this one is um, warm cinnamon rolls, fresh orange and a sugar glaze. And then I wanted a really, really fruity one. So this is Island Papaya. I don't think I've ever actually owned Island Papaya. Is there even scent notes on this? coconut papaya and sugar cane. So I normally don't go for the deep cleansing hand soap, but the packaging on this one was way prettier than the packaging on the foaming. And the packaging on the foaming, the soap itself was like um, orange. And this soap is like that beautiful, like, like rose quartz pink color. So I got this one instead just for the aesthetic of it basically. Um, and I know it smells the same, but it just looks a little different. So I got those three hand soaps. Then I got a couple wallflowers. These were on sale for $3. By the way, the hand soaps were $3. These were on sale for $3. Again, I got a couple to kind of bridge the gap. I'm very, very particular about the hand or about the wallflowers that I picked out because I'm particular about wallflowers flowers in general. It's something that's going to smell up the entire area of your house and it's not a candle necessarily. You can't just blow it out. So I'm super picky about the scents that I choose. Um, so I got chocolate lava cake. The only reason I got this one is because I had the hot cocoa and cream one and it smelled amazing and they were out of hot cocoa and cream so I figured this one would be similar enough. So I got chocolate lava cake. I got pear berry as a nice kind of like transition between spring and summer or just a spring scent in general. And then for next winter, I got Vanilla Bean Noel because, or really anytime in general, I feel like Vanilla Bean Noel is again, just a nice general home scent, smells good. I really got the chocolate lava cake for next winter. because so I really don't like that really gourmand scent kind of filling the whole house all the time, just in the winter. So next I had to get this. <laughs> this is the Christmas Cocoa and Mint. I got the shower gel and the um, body cream. These, it's weird because on Black Friday, I sniffed this scent and I did not like it. I was like, oh God, why is everyone buying that? I re-sniffed it at the semi-annual sale and it smelled so much better to me. So I got it. I was like, this will be perfect. Probably not for next winter, but the winter after. I know you're a hoarder if you have to decide which winter you're going to use your, your scents up. But it should still be good. I had to get it. It was 75% off. So I paid like two bucks for it. I think this smells good. It smells so authentic to an Andes mint. Like it literally just smells like I have an Andes mint in front of me, which is interesting because Bath and Body Works, it's making my mouth water. Bath and Body Works doesn't do authentic scents that well. They really don't and this smells really good. So this is, um, what does it say? Decadent milk chocolate, thin mint cookies, and marshmallow fluff. So again, I paid $2 for this and $2.60 something for this. They both smell amazing. Then, I had to get this and this is crazy because I have not heard anyone haul this. I've watched 10 plus semi-annual sale hauls by this point. Nobody has hauled this. Beach Night Summer Marshmallow. I walked in my store, I saw it, I threw it in my bag and I did not see it again at either store I went to. I did not see another one of these at the store I was hauling at. I went to that other store, like I said, just to look. I did not see any more. Like, I don't know, this was 75% off. I don't know what this was doing there, but it was meant to be because I had used one of these this summer. And previously, again, I had hated the scent. I fell in love with it last semi-annual sale. I used it this summer. I became obsessed. I was like, if I see it again, I am going to buy it. And I saw it and I bought it and I had to and there was no other option. And I found in my collection the lotion to this. I didn't use the lotion this summer. So I'm gonna have this shower gel and the lotion to use this coming summer. And I'm gonna be so excited. This is Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach Driftwood, and Creamy Vanilla just the mix between that watery 
salty scent and then the creamy vanilla. Oh, this is such a good scent. I am actually obsessed. And again, this was something that when it first came out last semi annual sale, I smelled it and I was like, what's the hype? Why is everyone hauling it? I'm not going to get it. I don't understand. Like, I just don't understand what's so good about it. And then I sniffed it this semi annual sale and I was like, why does it smell so good? This is black raspberry vanilla. Now I have, I don't think I've heard someone compare it the way I'm about to compare it. Um, so I don't know. I think when I smelled this, let me make sure. Okay, not so, mm, okay, a little bit. Not as much as in this store, but a little bit. It smells to me like cherry Coke, like, or cherry Dr. Pepper or something like that. I get this very dark, obviously black raspberry, ir or ir not iridescent. What I'm looking for bubbly this very dark bubbly like cola scent it smells amazing so it says fresh raspberries vine ripened blackberries vanilla orchid creamy sandalwood and cashmere woods I get this like cola scent from it I think it smells so good I smelled it in the lotion I smelled it in the fine fragrance mist and I don't think it smelled like that but for some reason in the shower gel I get that scent I'm excited to see if I still get that scent in the shower. This I think is going to be my next shower gel that I use. Lastly, I had to get this. I am obsessed with the Black Amethyst Fine Fragrance Mist, obsessed. I had it in the old packaging, the old, old packaging, the packaging that was like um, square, if you know what I'm talking about, like a rectangle, but it was like wider at the top and narrower at the bottom. I finished it in an empties video three months ago and I filmed that empties video and the um uh the film got corrupted it disappeared okay and in that empties video I was raving about black amethyst um fine fragrance mist how I was obsessed with it how it's a scent that I have never seen Bath and Body Works bring back like they bring back all these scents I have never seen this come back um and then I went on about it, how much I loved it, that I couldn't, I could care less about it in the shower gel, I could care less about it in the lotion, but for whatever reason, the fine fingers mist is my shit. So, and that video I never even posted because the, the video got lost. And then, all of a sudden, this semi annual sale, they bring back black amethyst, and I'm like, that is so weird, honestly. So I had to buy it. I only bought one because Fine Fragrance Mist lasts me a really long time. If you watch any of my hauls, I never buy Fine Fragrance Mist because I have a couple and they've lasted me forever. And I am, again, very picky with the ones that I do buy. Um, but yeah, I had to grab it. And again, I sniffed while I was in the store. I sniffed the shower gel. I sniffed the lotion and I could care less about it. They did not smell good to me at all. So... Here I am with my beloved Black Amethyst Fine Fragrance Mist. Of course, the Fine Fragrance Mist does not have the scent notes on it, so I can't read it to you. Um, true question is, do I think it smells any different? I don't think it smells any different. Maybe it smells newer <laughs> because the one I had, like I said, it was in the old, old packaging and I had it forever, but... I, oh, I'm upset actually that I only bought one. Maybe I should have bought more. I'm obsessed. It's just a very lovely, sophisticated, adult, like, perfume mist. I think it smells so good. I think it's in the same realm as Dark Kiss or Moonlight Path or something like that. But I don't like necessarily love either of those scents. This is like my version of that. So that is everything I finished. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I have an Ulta end of the year haul coming. So stay tuned for that. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.